प्रचंद्र सबावतारा सार शिरोमणि केवलानंद खांड very nice wonderful we should learn this <laughs> this song gives me so much ecstasy i love this song anyway um saba avatar he is all the avatars all the incarnations not only krishna but at different times he showed all of the qualities of all the different incarnations of the lord if you read Chaitanya, he's looking at me astonished. <laughs> if you read Chaitanya Charitamrita, you see these descriptions. And at, at some time, uh, he manifested the, the mood of Lord Nishingha. Uh, I will kill the atheists! Ah! <laughs> Other times, he became uh, very gentle, like uh, uh, what was the, the dwarf Brahmana incarnation. Uh, Brother of Indra, um, Bhamana. Bhaman, Bhaman. Yeah, he became like Bhaman, especially in his youth. He was very much like Bhaman, very soft and very kind, you know, especially to his parents. And then at other times, he was like, oh, all the different incarnations. Uh, he manifested all these. Well, even one time, he would he got into the mood of Kurma. Uh, and he retracted his limbs within his body, like a turtle. Yeah, and nobody but Lord Chaitanya can do this. Uh, you can read this in Chaitanya Charitamrita. It's very, very wonderful. He displayed all these moods. Yeah, and then when he began his Sankirtan movement, he started to display the moods and and functions of Radharani. So Lord Chaitanya not only manifested all the moods of all the avatars and incarnations, Dasha avatars, but he also showed the moods, ecstatic moods and, and unique qualities of Srimati Radharani. This is, this is amazing, unheard of, unprecedented, wonderful, you know. And when you read Chaitanya Charitamrita, is full of so much nectar like this. I mean, it's, it's stated that when Krishna came, he brought the treasury of love of Godhead with him. This is considered to be the, the most valuable possessions of the Lord because it gives him the most pleasure, the most ecstasy, to, to see this wonderful, ecstatic love of Godhead in his servants. Uh, so, the Lord Krishna brought the storehouse, the treasury of love of God, with him. But that remained sealed. It was only the inhabitants of Vrindavan that got to partake of this. See, outside of Vrindavan, he did not manifest all these ecstatic pastimes. See? But Lord Chaitanya, when he came, he said he broke open the storehouse and plundered the contents and distributed it to everyone without consideration. Uh, I mean, Lord Chaitanya was out of control. He was just com he was completely ecstatic madman. Mm -hmm. He didn't consider whether one was fit or unfit. He simply gave love of Godhead to everyone. Uh, and he, he caught this mood from Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Prabhu with Nityananda. You know, <laughs> it says it all. <laughs> and he, the Tananda was simply giving love of Godhead to everyone, Jagai, Madhai, everybody. Uh, he wasn't considering anything. Uh, just take it. Dui Jana, Nitai Gora Chandra. See, there, there's two of them. They're in cahoots together. <laughs> These two brothers. Shaba uh, Avatara. Between them, they embody all the avatars, all the incarnations of the Lord. Sara Shiromani, and the essence of mercy and compassion, Shiromani. So uh, these two brothers, if we take shelter of them, I wanted to say this earlier when we were having kirtan, 
but since I only have one mouth, unfortunately, I have to save it till now, that <laughs> if we call out these names of, of Nitai, Chaitanya, Nimai uh, Nitai, or Nitananda, Chaitanya, you know, and the rest of the Panchatattva, but especially that Nitai Gauranga, if we call out these names, then we'll automatically get this special mercy, this, this unconditional attraction to Lord Krishna. See, that's why we chant the Panchatattva mantra before we chant the Hare Krishna mantra. You know, that, that actually, in a sense, we give that mantra more uh, precedence. First we chant our Guru Mantra, our Guru Pranam Mantra, then we chant Panchatattva Mantra. And only then we chant Hare Krishna Mantra. Why? Because uh, Nitai and Gauranga, they, they broke open this secret, confidential storehouse of love of God. And they just passed it out to everybody. They didn't think. You know? One time, <laughs> Lord Chaitanya was in South India. And there were many, you know, brahmanas, uh, smarta brahmanas. Yeah. And so he said, he said, I am a merchant and I have brought all my wares. Huh? But uh, the price is too high and nobody's buying. So I will just give freely to everyone because I don't want to return back home without having distributed my goods. I don't want, I want to come home empty. Uh, so I'll just give to everybody, and he gave to all, every, everyone, without discrimination. So even in, in Navadvip, he was not so munificent. Uh, in South India, he gave without restriction. So even today in South India, the, this faith is very strong. And if we go in the place of especially Tamil Nadu, the, the place where Lord Chaitanya visited when he toured South India, he went all the way to Cape Comorin and back. So uh, that means that whole area was just flooded with love of Godhead. You know, and as a result now, it's still the most pious place in the whole world. Uh, even you go to Vrindavan or Mayapur in the north, and, and the, the Vedic culture is not in such good condition as in the south of India. You know, so, uh, that's where we're going. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to take, take shelter there. So anyway, I got way off the topic, but I hope you understand. Okay, uh, next question from Mother Jennifer. Babaji, please accept my humble obeisances. Who were the queens? Are they Krishna's gopis? No, no, go gopis and queens are different qualifications. Uh, gopis only appear in Goloka or Gokula, Vrindavan. And they are uh, young unmarried girls or they're married to somebody else other than Krishna. Uh, and the, the flavor of love is called Parakya Rasa, which means the, the flavor of a paramur, a lover. Whereas the queens in Dwarka they are all kshatriyas, princesses, very highly qualified, highly cultured uh, princesses, used to a royal uh, environment and existence. And then, and they marry Krishna. So their married the love is called svakya. Svakya is, although it's conjugal love of Krishna, is considered on a lower platform than Parakya. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, in the spiritual world, everything is reversed. This material world, this is a reflection. And just like a reflection, Krishna says, of a tree, where the, if you see a tree with the roots upward and the branches down, you know this is a reflection because it's, it's upside down, right? Yeah. So it's, it's upside down, also backwards. <laughs> so, uh, if you uh, try to understand what we consider very low in this material world, in the spiritual world, is very high. It's simply backwards. Because everything Krishna does is pure. 
everything he does is good. There's nothing bad in the spiritual world. Even when Krishna is stealing, you know, the gopis are like, well, Krishna, this is your butter. You can do whatever you like with it. Sometimes they would have a festival and they would throw the butter, have food fights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in this material world, this would be considered very irresponsible. Huh? Why are you throwing butter? Wasting. But in, in the spiritual world, when Krishna does it or his devotees do it, it's very wonderful. It's very nice. Uh, next question from Mother Christina. Uh, one of the differences between, or one of the differences between the Dvata Saksara mantra and the Maha mantra is that the Dvata Saksara mantra, Dvata accepts, Shakshara. Shakshara mantra accepts offenses. 